Hello, beautiful world! Today, I'm going to talk to you about my casts. Now, I have uh, broken my ankle um, like a month and a half ago or something. And what happened was that I had a few drop seizures throughout the day. And typically with drop seizures, I bend at the knee. But the last drop seizure I had of that day, I bent at just my right ankle and it broke. So I made a video already uh, about that. If you want to check out my channel, then you will see that video from last week. So this video is going to be talking about all the casts that I've had since then. So the cast that I have now is a fiberglass cast and it is my fifth cast uh, so far and I'm just going to talk to you about comforts, mobility, And things surrounding the idea of having a cast on. This is the fiberglass cast that I have on right now. The first cast that I got was when they set my ankle. They didn't set it all the way so they had to give me surgery blah blah blah. The first cast I had was just a regular splint cast to keep my uh, ankle in place. So because the first cast was a splint cast it was only partially hard around the areas here and here to keep it in place so that uh, it would stay hard on just the parts that needed to have support so that my ankle would heal. I pretty much had a splint cast for the first four times that I've had the cast and this is the first time that I've had a fiberglass cast. What I can say is that the splint cast, because it is pretty much a material that kind of looks like a cotton ball, it gets sweaty very quickly inside and it can be very irritating and itchy and hence why it's so irritating. But what I can say is that once I had the surgery, they still put me in a splint cast, um, but it was even more frustrating when the fact of the matter was that they put staples on my leg and it made it more itchy because I couldn't scratch that spot. And it also hurt to even move my leg. So once I finally had the staples out of my leg and they gave me the fiberglass cast, I was pretty much able to move my leg without hurting. And uh, my toes actually function properly now um, without hurting. I still have um, I still have a lot of itchiness inside my cast because it hasn't been washed for a really long time. Um, it was disinfected right before surgery and ever since then I've pretty much just had dead skin just staying there for a month. My issue here is because my ankle was broken and as you can see my heel is there and this is hard all around. There is no room 
like with the splint cast to be able to go inside. So when I was in the hospital and I was itchy, if I had an itch here, I could use a straw to reach that itch because there was room to move. But with this cast, there is absolutely no room to move and so I can't even put a straw in there to scratch an itch. So if I have an itch on my heel, which happens once in a while, I'm not able to scratch it. I have to mentally try to pretend, try to Jedi mind trick my heel into thinking that I scratched it when in reality it's still itchy and it's driving me crazy and pretty much nothing can help the itch. All I can really do for now is wait until I'm able to get the boot in a couple weeks. Um, I had an appointment today and they pretty much just gave me this shoe sandal thing um, to let me know that I can start to put some weight on my foot now but still not an extreme amount of weight i have to put only weight that is comfortable and then in two weeks they're gonna do another x-ray with the cast off to see how my leg is doing and see if they can give me a boot and then the boots will allow me to walk uh, on my foot and have therapy to basically learn how to walk again. I can definitely say that with the cast, even after a month long uh, wait and having the fiberglass cast, I still have pain on this side, which is where they did the surgery. Uh, it's usually just nerve pain when I put too much weight um, laying down on this side. I try to avoid uh, laying on this side of my leg altogether. If I do have this intense need to lay down on my right side, I'll try to lay on my right side but also kind of on my stomach and put one or two pillows under here. So it will look like I'm laying down on my stomach, but the pillows will be under here and it will be lifting up. My other leg can be normal, um, but pretty much it just takes the weight off of this and it doesn't hurt my right side. So at least my body wanting to lay down on the right side because it's telling me that I am uncomfortable laying only on my right, left side. Then it does feel a little bit better, but it only helps for like a minute or two. All in all, I would say that having the splint casts that I had they were sweaty and itchy, but that is mainly due to my side of things. Just my leg sweating and pretty much just dead skin coming off of my body. I don't know what other people's experience might be with the splint cast. But that is my experience, and so far this is my experience with the fiberglass cast. I guess we'll just see my experience when I get the boot. So this has been my experience with casts so far, as requested by one of my viewers, so thank you very much. Feel free to request any other videos if you have any questions. Then comment down below and let me know and I will answer 
whatever questions that you have going on in your mind, as long as they're appropriate, of course. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.